Brian Deutestein is one of the first owners of a Fairphone. The production of the Android device was financed by a crowdfunding campaign. The Dutch startup had originally planned to make 5,000 smartphones, but within a few weeks, demand had surged to more than 25,000. The device cost 325 euros. I ordered the Fairphone because I decide very wisely what I buy. Um, these glasses are made of bamboo and recycled uh, plastics, and the clothes are biological cotton, and even the power in my house um, is from a windmill. Most companies manufacturing electronic devices are not too concerned with sustainability. They claim supply chains are too complicated and there's not enough demand. Fairphone founder Bas van Abe set out to prove them wrong. His original aim was to raise awareness of the terrible working conditions in Congolese mines. And we didn't start as a company. Three years ago we were a campaign in raising awareness around conflict minerals. Uh, and then we decided to make a phone. Smartphone components are made from gold, tantalum, copper, and tin. These raw materials are often sourced in conflict zones, like the Democratic Republic of Congo, where child labor and violence are widespread. An ethical dilemma for the makers of the Fairphone. They get around it by only buying from certified mines. It's a step towards fairer business outside the reach of armed groups. Food and fair trade stuff are most of the time it's it's like a single ingredient. A banana is you know it's a banana. A phone consists of so many uh, complex parts. Fair phones are manufactured in this Chinese factory. The Dutch company has campaigned for better working conditions there. Four euros from every phone sold go into a worker welfare fund. Susanna Jordan is another leading figure in the sustainability movement. She's developed the Fair Mouse. Today, she's visiting one of her suppliers near Berlin. It manufactures tiny resistors used to make a computer mouse. Two thirds of the components she uses are made in Germany. Researching the supply chain is complicated. A computer mouse is made of 20 different parts, but there are some 200 companies involved in the process. You really have to visit every company or have them visited to know what goes on there, how things are done. The visits are also good for finding out about the components and materials being produced. The 36-year-old documents her findings on her website. So far, she's sold 3,000 fair trade computer mouses. Fairphone also presents its customers with a step-by-step -step breakdown of its manufacturing process. It even publishes all of its costs online. Tech journalist Christian Wolber thinks it's a good example for the industry. I think the way this young company works is wonderful because it's absolutely transparent, much more so than all the other companies in the electronics industry. But sales of both the Fairphone and the Fair Mouse are still too small to make a significant difference. If we really want to um, create more independence in the supply chain, we actually have to have more volume. You can't do that with 25,000 phones because no one will listen to you. Fairphone is hoping to attract investors to allow it to produce more devices. But maintaining its independence is still a top priority. Shift says, more of the same, please.